Well, in continuing with the trend of no good news coming out of Disney regarding to the financial side of things, the fact that they're just losing so much money and they can't seem to actually make a, a decent profit. Uh, we have a uh, financial analysis who is uh, warning that Disney is teetering towards a very negative tipping point with TV. Woke SJW Disney has become too big to where they thought they could never fail and now they're failing. And this is the end results of going woke and basically going broke as the result, we can put it that way. This is on marketwatch.com. It says, Disney is teetering towards a negative tipping point, newly bearish analyst cautions. Linear TV advertising trends are already weak, but they now face a new obstacle. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I mean, no obstacle. Yeah, I mean, like maybe having to turn over the couch cushions to find extra change, you know, figuratively speaking. Continuing in the article, the Walt Disney Corp uh, Corporation has been candid about the challenges it faces in linear television, but one analyst is worried that the negative tipping point that a negative tipping point looms in, in this part of the business. Uh, Atlantic uh, Equities analyst Hamilton Faber uh, turned bearish on Disney. Uh, basically, their stock is pretty bad. Shares Tuesday that uh, cutting his rating to underperform from neutral to lowering his price target from seventy-six dollars to one hundred thirteen dollars. Faber. Oh, sorry, from $113, Faber has concerns about the linear advertising trends as well as the degradation, uh, degradation in performance when it comes to Disney's film franchises. Disney's shares were off by 1% in the pre-market trading uh, Tuesday. They've lost nearly 12% over the past three months. Not good for them whatsoever. It's been pretty bad. Continuing on, with linear TV ratings continuing to decline fast across the general entertainment and with usual price gains that have seen uh, over the past 15 years, it is clear advertising is set to fall faster than we have seen previously, he wrote, summarizing his takeaways from the eight industries' recent upfronts, uh, which are the annual media industry events where marketers buy ads ahead of the fall TV season. The trends are particularly surprising given the death of quality programming on traditional TV, but they're nonetheless come to, may come to affect Disney in a significant way. Favor expects uh, linear advertising troubles could trim nearly one billion off the company's 2026 uh, forecast operating income. Well, they've already lost billions of dollars so far, so that would not be a surprise whatsoever. Says in the article, uh, Chief, Chief Executive Bob Iger recently suggested uh, openness to the potential sale of some Disney linear television assets, but it remains unclear how realistic that might be. Linear TV, quote, accounts for, a extremely, for an extremely large portion of the company's free cash flow, and we also struggle to inv uh, envisage uh, potential buyers for these distressed assets, particularly they are currently distressed, unquote, Faber wrote. Uh, quote, additionally, it is likely that any sale will be well below Disney's current core multiple uh, and could actually uh, be value, sorry, be, be value uh, directive to the shares. He acknowledged that sports ad pricing is uh, relatively resilient despite changes elsewhere in linear programming and said sports trends will uh, serve to temper declines. Yeah, really, ESPN's the only thing that Disney has that's actually making them some, some money. Uh, continuing on in the article, meanwhile, Faber has concerns about Disney's franchises given declining critical scores from Marvel programming, weakening box office performance, and apparent fatigue around Disney, sorry, around Marvel and Star Wars TV shows. <laughs> yeah, you think? Uh, when you just pump all this stuff out and pretty much everyone hates it, you know? And, and really, you know, this, oh, it's just a vain, empty, you know, it's just, it's just a, a right-wing political phrase, you go woke, you go broke. No, it's just the, the blunt reality. <laughs> this is the result. See, in less than a year, see, back in 2022, early 2022, they came out with their not-so-secret gay agenda and have only gone full speed ahead in a lot of this woke SJW ideology. And here we are a little over a year later, and they're struggling to make money. They're having to think about selling some of their assets and, you know, have analysts coming out saying it's not looking good. Man, it's got, it, it's basically gotten to a point where, you know, could they go out of business? I don't think so, personally. I mean, I personally do not think so. But, uh, you know, it's looking pretty bad. It's not looking good whatsoever. Nothing good that comes out of Disney regarding financial news has been good. It's just losing money at the box office, losing money at the theme parks. Now we're losing money at the cruise, the cruise line, apparently, too. So just not good whatsoever. And it continues to get worse until they learn their lesson. You go woke, you go broke. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ with all the brethren. Goodbye.